I believe in a solution and I believe a solution is possible and I believe uh, uh, that uh, uh, we can offer a vision for uh, uh, reconciliation between Israelis and Palestinians, but we have to change the language. We have to change the language. Uh, we cannot s uh, keep the old language that Yuli, for example, uh, uh, used, I think. We have to use a new language. Maybe even the word uh, occupation is, in a way, outdated, in a way, maybe. But we have to change the language. And I'm part of uh, uh, an Israeli-Palestinian uh, group, uh, movement, I would say, that is called, I referred to it before, two states, uh, one homeland. When we say two states, we mean two states, two independent states, Israel and Palestine, with the 67 borders, not because there's anything holy about these borders, but because they are internationally accepted uh, uh, by the international community. They were only re re ratified again uh, in the uh, UN Security Council resolution in October 2016. So we do mean two independent states, but, and here is the, the big but and the big change of language. We say one homeland. What does it mean? It means that, yes, the whole of this land between, Israel, uh, between the river and the sea is Palestine. And we, Jews, have to recognize it. We have to recognize that Palestinians have a right to live wherever they want between the river and the sea, in the West Bank, in Gaza, and in Israel. On the other hand, Palestinians have to recognize that the whole of this land between the river and the sea is also for the Jews, is Eretz Israel. And Jews will have a right, as a, a personal right, to live wherever they want between the river and the sea. In Israel, of course, but also in the West Bank and Gaza, if they wish to. I think uh, this uh, idea that uh, the best uh, way to think about it is the EU model. After the World, world War II, uh, uh, Germany and, 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 and France decided that instead of punishing Germany again, as it was after World War I, they decided to cooperate and create a joint institution that later developed into the EU, uh, uh, EU as we know it now. Now, in the EU, we have independent states and here we are talking about Israel and Palestine, but there is freedom of movement and freedom of residence for all. A German can live in France without asking any permission and vice versa. We think that such an idea, creating an Israeli-Palestinian confederation, a strong confederation that will ensure the rights of all Israelis and Palestinians all over the land, Will, uh, 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 and, and freedom of movement, freedom of residence, will allow Israelis, including ex-settlers, because if uh, occupation will end and there will be an independent Palestinian state, there will, no, there will, there will, uh, uh, there will not be settlement anymore. But Israelis, Jews and non-Jews, could live in Palestine. Israeli citizens and Palestinian residents. This is something that is feasible. It, is, it represents the reality on the ground now. And on the other hand, Palestinian, including Palestinian refugee, this question that was ignored in, in, in all the process that you, that you only described, was ignored, that there was a, an understanding that it is out of the question, that it is out of the agreement. 
Palestinian refugees will have a right to be Palestinian citizens and from the moment they are Palestinian citizens they will have a right to move freely and, uh, and, and gradually reside in Israel, returning to the places from which they were exiled 70 years ago. I think this will be a basis for reconciliation. It will be a basis for a new language of hope because I think what we heard all this evening was the total and unequivocal lack of hope, that there is no hope. I think that the, the very use of a language of hope and language of mutual recognition of the deep values of both peoples, of the deep attachments of both peoples to this land can create a new opportunity. I think such an, uh, 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 a solution is first more uh, uh, represent better the realities that were created on the ground that I, I spoke in the earlier session. The, uh, the, the real realities of this mixed uh, population all over the, the land. In so here, here we are talking about a solution that is an end to hostilities, an end to war. And, uh, uh, and these, these are the lines that made Europe, after maybe thousands of years of war, the safest place. You can t say anything you want about the EU. There are a lot of problems in the EU, but for the first time in more than <laughs> thousand years, no f shot has been fired on the European soil between French and German and Belgians and, and Dutch, no fire was shot in 80 years. So, and, and this is the solution that exists now in Northern Ireland, where there is sharing of power. In Northern Ireland, the government now is like having Netanyahu as prime minister and Khaled Mashal as his uh, vice uh, prime minister. This is the solution in Northern Ireland. A solution of sharing, and sharing is the best way to ensure peace, to ensure stability, and to uh, uh, start a long, not easy, but a long process of reconciliation. This is the only way. Thank you. <laughs>